Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is divide an array into subarrays with minimum cost 1. So in this question, we are given an integer array called nums, which is of length n and the cost of an array is the value of its first element. So if we are taking this as a subarray and the cost of this array is 1 because that is the first element as they're asking here and the cost of this array is 3 because that is the first element and the task is to divide the nums array into exactly 3 disjoint continuous subarrays. So continuous in the sense they have to be continuous. There shouldn't be any deletions of elements. And this is a final task. We have to return the minimum possible sum of the cost of these subarrays. And how many are the subarrays? We are having three subarrays. And we have to find the minimum sum of all the three subarrays. Since you have to get the sum and it has to be minimum possible, it somehow strikes to your mind that you have to pick the minimum values. So how many minimum values you need? You need three minimum values. So a task is to find minimum values inside the array. So that is the first point find minimum and how many minimum values we need it appears that we need three minimum values but we have to do the second observation here since we have to form disjoint contiguous subarrays the first subarray is going to have the first element fixed so we have to form a subarrays from here it can be a single element it can be two elements it can be three depending on the length of the nums array but always you have to pick the first element. So first element is going to be the minimum for the first subarray. So if the subarray you are forming is going to be 1, 2. So this 1 is going to be part of the of your first subarray. And next you are going to form the second subarray and then you are going to form the third subarray. And among this you can find the minimum elements. That is the first minimum element here. So I am going to call it min1. And this is going to have min2. And this is going to be nums of 0. So these are your three targets find nums of 0 which is a direct retrieval and find nums 1 and nums 2 and make sum of all that so this is going to be output so these are going to be the two observations so first we have to find two minimum elements from the subarray so min 1 and min 2 and second observation is that nums of 0 is always going to be the minimum in the first subarray because we are forming disjoint contiguous subarrays so the first subarray is going to have nums of 0 as the minimum element so let's implement these steps in a Java program. So here as you can see, first I'm declaring nums of 0 as the first element. Then I'm declaring to min1 and min2 or first min or second min. And then I'm starting from iteration from 1 till the end of the array because nums of 0 is already assigned. That is why we're going to start a iteration from here. So start a iteration from here. I will be equal to 1 until it reaches the end. So first comparing the current element at i with first min, if it is less than first min, then second min is going to be first min and first min is going to be that number. Else, if the current element at i is less than second min, so we are going to assign that element to second min. And finally, this will happen for all the elements inside the array. And then you have nums of zero, and then you have first min, and then you have second min. And these three values, you have to sum them. So for example, one is the nums of zero. Now first min is equal to two, and second min is equal to three. So one plus two plus three, is equal to 6 so 6 is your output so that is what you are returning here in the end first plus no, first min plus second min so do a dry run for this or any other test case this logic will work so these are the two observations that you had to do to solve this question so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the input array nums given to us and the space complexity is constant o of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video